Hello everyone, myself Ankit Shivare. Today we are going to have a session on LTS spies. So this is our first tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see the different options that are available in LTS spies, the tools control panel options. Then we are going to see what are the different uh, uh, windows that are available in LTS spies. Then we will go to the tutorial. First, we are going to think on voltage divider. So let us have a voltage divider circuit and see the waveforms, how it looks and how to set up the different window panes etc that all things we will see ok so first uh, we need to install LTS spice x511 as per the tutorial as per the link I have sent you ok so you try to install it if you face any issues then revert back so what are the different uh, options that are there files you can see there is no schematic so you can see you can have a new schematic so a window like this will open up right <coughs> then uh, you can have save options etc then this is spice directive, capacitor, inductor, diode and all these things will be there. So we will see how all these all this we can use. There is a new symbol, view, there are spice netlist option and all these things. So first important thing is the mm, uh, color preference, how you want to set up the color preferences. So like uh, for background, suppose I want a white background, so how will I do that? So you can see when I do this, so this is now a white background, it looks better to me. So I will set a white background for this. So for all the other things uh, I can set up. So I can for grid I can do this. So this will be a black dots that is coming up. Probably in the video you will not be able to see. But this is the black dots that will come up. Now first we need to save. In LT space simulation. So first it will have saved in tutorial 1. So I can save it as back as tutorial 1. So do you want to replace it? Yes I said. And I can close this one. Yeah, so this is how I can save the tutorials. Now, in tools control panels, there are a lot of options. Color preference, I have told you. Color preference, control panels, you can see that uh, uh, these are the uh, compression that will occur. Okay, absolute or uh, voltage tolerance, color tolerance. We will have a discussion on this. Uh, it's uh, how much error you can tolerate actually in your simulations. So you cannot take it arbitrary also and you cannot take it uh, very low value also. It's, uh, you have to see that which simulation is good. So these are the integration methods. So that uh, spice simulation will occur by this numerical integration methods. So this is triple digital modified trap here. Three methods are available. There are more options available with the higher, uh, with the like cadence uh, specter lot of options are available. Right. These are the G min absolute tolerance, relative tolerance, CHD tolerance. TR tolerance, all these tolerance we will discuss later. Okay, so let us start with this and we will have a discussion on this further. So, first we will need to draw a voltage divider. Uh, so, for that we need two resistances and a voltage source, correct? So, let us have a voltage source. We have go to the component section and you go to the voltage option. Okay, so you place here, then you need two resistance as well. So you need a resistor, so you can have this. So now you can have two keys, that is control R and control K. Control R is for rotation and control K is for mirror. Okay. So control R we can we can do like this. So this is the two resistance you can draw. So these are the two resistance I draw. So always we need a ground for all these things. So we can have this ground and connect here. So spurs bar is fit to the screen. Now we can draw the wires and connect all the components. So a closed loop is formed. Okay. Now <coughs> we need to set the values of this voltage source so let us see what will happen so right click on this and you will get these options like dc value so let us uh, let us assume that we are putting a 5 volt dc value and what is the series resistance so let us say we are not putting anything right so okay i said so this is the v1 and this is the 5 okay similarly we can set the resistance values so tolerance is there power rating is there like uh, how much power you want to have so let us uh, set up a simple uh, 10 ohms and 10 ohms to resistances. Okay. 
and this is how your circuit will look finally. Now we need to do the simulation of that. So we need to set up the operating point. So bias directive will come. So we can say that yeah, we need to have a DC operating point. So we put dot op and uh, we just place it here in this window. So the spice will understand now here that uh, uh, operating point needs to be calibrated. Dot op. Okay. Now we need to simulate the simulation. So when we run here, so see a window will pop up. So these are the different nets that will show. So like this V N zero zero one. So we don't know exactly which is V N zero zero one, but we can think like this is the voltage source. So this must be V N zero zero one, right? So this is five volts. So it is naming this net as N zero zero one, and this is N zero zero two. That is two point five volt because ten ohms ten ohms. So voltage is fitted, so it will be two point five volt. So this is voltage N zero zero two. Now these are the currents because you can see in the window option I have saved the all the device currents so it is saving all the currents so I R two that is 0.25 ampere so five divided by 20 ohms so that is what 0.25 right so this much current is flowing now you can see that uh, a current has shown negative here as well so what does this signify is the current always it sees from the positive to the negative so means current is always from the positive to the negative. In spice simulations, so here yeah, current is going from the positive to the negative end. So inside this current is going from positive to negative, but means it should be like this way. If this is uh, positive, this is to negative, so it should be emitted. So that's why it it will be positive. If suppose I place voltage source here and the resistance here, then the current will be just opposite. So we can do that thing. So let us do that. So. I just cut up this net, this net, this net, this net, and just sweep it. So we can move that. So this is the move option. So you can just place it here. You can move this voltage source to here. Okay. So it is little bit fast. So let us set it here. Okay. And we need to again cut it. Cut these nets, floating nets. And connect it back wires. So let us see what happens. So let us go to the spacebar fit, and I now go to the spice netlist. We can see the spice netlist. So this is the spice netlist. So this is V1 voltage source between two nets N002 and 0 that is ground and that a voltage is 5 volt R1 resistance between nets N002 and 001 the value is 10 ohms similarly R2 resistance N001 and 0 the value is 10 ohms we are calculating the operating point so dot op and always the spice net list ends with dot end okay so now again we can run the simulation yeah. So now you see the current has changed to positive in the resistance values because the current it is was swinging from the positive to the negative side, right? So this was now the current is going in this direction. Okay. So hope hope it makes some sense, right? And the voltage uh, current uh, through the uh, voltage source is negative now. Okay. Okay. So this is how it goes. Uh, we will have uh, next session. And uh, there we will see voltage control voltage source. Thank you.